I'm going to update you on the storms out there right now and what's expected later tonight. This is 8 o'clock on a Thursday night, in case you're wondering. Again, uh, April 27th, 2023. Like and subscribe. You know, uh, what we've got going on over the weekend, we need to talk about that. I'm going to have that in a separate video coming up uh, so you don't have to go all the way through a long format video. So let's get to it. Uh, we have the thunderstorms that are developing out here to the west, and we've been expecting this for a while. Finally getting some lightning, probably looking at some hail with this particular thunderstorm here. In fact, I'll get in here, we'll look at it. Uh, it's best to look at the, this product first, showing the possibility of some hail. Might start actually seeing some severe thunderstorm warnings with this storm down the road. Uh, as far as the hail possibility over time, I, I don't think there has been significant hail with it yet, but it's still possible it could produce some hail. Uh, over time. So again, something to watch. The lightning's picking up with that particular thunderstorm as well. Uh, but overall, uh, this is not a big severe weather threat here. This is mainly some large hail. And the storms, the supercells down to the south were actually a lot more impressive earlier. And they're kind of converging together. And this, you'll see this on the model guidance as this moves off to the east. These are supercells, but there's just not a lot of wind shear. There's no 850 strong low-level jet coming in here. So yeah, we if, if we had all that together, we'd have some really bad storms down here uh, to the south, uh, but we don't. So uh, that's good. We have the rain cooled boundary still across most of North Alabama. That's not saying we won't have some strong storms tonight. May have an isolated severe thunderstorm warning for primarily some hail. Uh, but right now, here's the model guidance. I think it's got a pretty good handle on it right now. And uh, notice what it will do with those little storms down here to the southwest. Kind of takes them and move, continues to move them due east, continuing to move to the east into perhaps Blount County and north of Birmingham. That's by nine o'clock tonight. That cluster continues to move east. And what really isn't showing up is development. I think we'll still see here in northwest Alabama with what I just showed you out there farther to the west. As we continue on past midnight, 1 a.m., really losing a lot of steam here with the atmosphere. But I still think we're going to see some stronger thunderstorms overnight tonight. But so far, things actually look pretty good. And as we kind of focus on tomorrow, <clears throat> Friday morning, we'll have a few spotty showers out there. And then as we get into Friday afternoon, we're going to see a little bit more wind out of the northwest behind this front and overall looking pretty good as far as that goes. Um, one other thing we're going to talk about again is the chance of rain coming as we get into the weekend. And it's going to be Saturday night into Sunday. Again, I'm going to have another video right here on uh, my YouTube channel, and we're going to talk more about that here in just a few minutes. But again, I wanted to get this posted, keep you up to date. Again, watching storms, the strongest storms are south of us right now, and they will likely run out of gas and not be as severe. They're not severe right now, but uh, we'll see what happens with those. Again, those are going to be staying well south of us, south of Smith Lake, in fact, as well. Again, subscribe. You'll get notifications a lot sooner.